All right, we have been working hard to bring you this live shot. I apologize for it being late. It is Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach, and we had an internet issue, and we're not sure what it is, so we took every hot spot we could find down here, and I used all of this painter's tape, and they are taped to Tom right now, so he is a walking hot spot. So if you're having internet issues, come on down to camp, and we'll be sure to hook you up, and we'll talk about getting you all hooked up. You know what would have been real handy to have here, Tom? As we get into the brand new magnitude RS36, the WineGuard Connect 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender, it comes standard on this. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but I appreciate you being with us. We are inside the all new RS36. You wanna walk, wanna risk it outside? Can we do that? Let's do it. Let's try it out. All right, I'll follow you, because a couple of things I wanna talk about out here, actually quite a few things. And wherever you're watching from, go ahead and say hello to us. And if things do get a little wonky, I'll tell you what, we will, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll maybe tear down and, and, and do it again another day. Um, first thing I want to talk about, the brand new F600 chassis. You know, we've got a lot of questions. People are saying, hey, what is the difference between the 600 and the 550? And the answer is 50, because that's a math joke. Now, the real difference between the uh, 600 and the F550, first of all, you're going to get a lot more towing with the F600. You're going to get 12,000 pounds instead of 10,000 pounds. And you have a beefed up chassis. I mean, you're going to get bigger tires, brakes, stronger suspension, drive shafts, axles, U joints, you name the component, it is beefed up on the F600. This thing is just a beast. Um, I haven't driven the F600 yet, but it is still that same 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine. We're talking 330 horsepower, 825 pound feet of torque. That comes on at 2000 RPMs. Now, a lot of people are asking, well, Ford also makes, you know, it's something like a 425 horse and just over a thousand pound feet of torque. Why don't you drop that engine in it? One, this, Ford puts this motor in here for extreme duty, for severe duty, for heavy duty usage, like you would when you would build a motorhome such as this magnitude. So this is the engine Ford gives us, and I'm telling you what, it is a beast. Hello to Carlo, hello to Joanne, hello to Scott, hello to Brandon. Thank you all for waiting. We're gonna go inside, I'll tell you what, Tom, I wanna show people uh, some of the cool things in here. So you kinda hit here, and then I'll walk around to the other side, and let's hope that we still maintain our signal out here. You have keyless entry over here on the driver's side. I will shut the door here to stop the beeping here. Oh my gosh, is this thing just, whew, I love these things. All right, so you have drive modes up here. Normal, tow haul, eco, slippery, deep snow and sand for improved performance, four by four recommended. And look at that, you do have your four by four switch right over here. Two high, four high, and four low. Now remember, four low, not above three miles per hour. You do have locking hubs on the front. Your best bet is to go ahead and take and put those in auto. We do have a complete how to use your Omni and Magnitude video on our YouTube channel, so go ahead and check that out. We'll take and walk you through everything. You have cruise control. The menu up here is insane. The amount of information on here. You have a lane keeping system because Ford pack this with technology. You have pre-collision assist, um, a lot of lane keeping systems. So if you start to drift, this will take and give you a warning so you will stay in your lane. Nice gauges. You have a turbo gauge up here. You have auto headlights. When you want to give your uh, your magnitude a hug, a squeeze, but you can't get out, you can just do this. It's like giving a little hug. No, that's for your trailer brake controller. Uh, you do have custom settings for your trailer brake controller in here as well. You do have, I like this, you do have uh, an outlet right here that's on an inverter. You can see that it is uh, 400 watts and you're driving, it's 300 watts. You have 12 volt right there. Your climate control, you have a USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt over here. Uh, you do have an exhaust brake. This is how you turn your lane keeping system on or off. I want to get into the uh, SYNC 3 system as well because this is fully loaded. I mean, we have navigation now. I do want to point out that this is not RV specific navigation, but because you do have Apple, uh, Car Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on here, once you connect your phone through there, you can take and use the app of your choice, the RV navigation app of your choice. And you can go ahead and put all of the specs in. You plug it into your phone and now you have the navigation right here. Something else that's really neat about this is as we go through the apps here, 
Uh, you have mobile apps. You have Sirius XM Travel Link because you do have Sirius XM Satellite Radio on here. You do have uh, Ford Plus on here as well, and that is really cool. And I'm trying to find out where exactly it's Ford Pass Connect. There you go. Oh my gosh, so you have a vehicle hotspot in here, okay? There's also Ford Plus Alexa. Yes, so you download, you set up your account here, right, and it's tied into your vehicle, and then you download the Ford Pass Connect here, and now you have the features of the Alexa you can control right here from your phone. So say you're coming back from a long trip, you can tie it in if you have uh, smart devices at home and, and thermostats and whatnot, and you can control it just like you would your Alexa at home, so it's really kind of a neat system, but this thing is just decked out. Um, you have options for your vehicle. When we do the uh, complete model of your video, we're going to walk through this a, a little bit more, but I'm going to give you the, the brief over on this because this is really just a, a neat setup. I mean, they're just great to drive. You have power adjustable pedals down here, so you can take and really just dial in the perfect fit for you. This backup mirror is always on. You do have uh, volume, so if somebody's back there, so say Tom and I were going to back into our garage here, I could have Tom back there saying left, right, slow it down, whatever it may be, and then you can hear that person back there. So this is a great feature to have. You do have a couple auxiliary switches as well if you want to attach a couple accessories, so some great, uh, some great features up here. And one thing I really like that Ford did this year, if you can show Tom just the gray it, instead of the tan, it's gray now. I really like the way that looks. That is just a beautiful look. Way to go, Ford. I enjoy that. Um, I will meet you. Oh, you know what? While you're there, let's look at our OCCC on this. This is the F600, the RS36. I will climb over here. And what are we looking at? 3,470 pounds. So you can really pack this Super C full of whatever you need. As we walk around uh, out here, we have a lot of storage. These are the mud, uh, the uh, floor mats, custom floor mats that are logoed right there. These are the cameras for your side view camera. That'll pop up on the center or the, uh, the top screen there. So you have some great, uh, great side view mirrors there. You have an exterior TV as well. This is on a swivel, right? So if you want to take and swivel it out, watch a little TV, you can go ahead and do that. Propane's down here. You have some outlets out here. You have uh, storage that I have locked. This one is not locked because this is your exterior kitchen. Look at that. You have your refrigerator. You do have a pump there. When you get uh, your water in here, you can go ahead and pump that out. You have a light back here. A uh, little storage back there, so some nice features here when you're doing some outdoor cooking. Exterior propane connection right there. You got old propane lane hooked up, and now you are living. So some great features out here on our RS36, but I know you want to see the floor plan. You just want to see it, so let's go ahead and give it a look here. Let me pull up our face. We do have the air conditioners on. It's a little, little toasty outside, so we are going to keep cool while we bring you the RS36. So let me scroll on through. I do appreciate you being with us today. Um, Nathan from Signature. Hello, Nathan. Love the gray cool. Yeah, the gray, Joanne, is really cool up here. I really do like that. Uh, your overhead bunk up here, sleep two up here. This thing is huge. You have a telescoping ladder that stores in the back. I mean, this is, this is massive. And you have you have your power sky shade. You can control that from Rapid Cam Plus. I do not have that hooked up to my phone, but you can control that from your phone, and it's like your own little getaway here. You have a TV right over here, uh, so you can put that out. You can watch a little TV. Uh, you do have a sofa right here, uh, optional theater seats if you would like, very comfortable. You do have the Dream Dinette. Uh, this is where you would stream from, and apparently we're still streaming, but it, we logged out, so that's okay. <laughs> things, are, things are good. We'll take it. This makes into a bed. You can sit here. You can do a little work. You can tape all your streaming devices to Tom when, when, when things aren't working. But if you were connected to the WineGuard Connect 2.04G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender, this wouldn't be an issue. Not at all. And what's neat this year with WineGuard is you can use a SIM card from any plan. So you can use your plan, buy a SIM card on the roof, and then you put the little SIM card in, and then you can establish your, your data plan there. You can also choose one through WineGuard as well. Now you have a 4G hotspot wherever you are. You can set up your password. You select the password, wherever you want to make it. 
And then when even you connect to Wi-Fi somewhere, you can still use that password. You can create guest networks, so it's really a great on-the-road system. So the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. As we head on into our kitchen here, nice solid surface countertops. Do you have a pop-up outlet here? A lot of storage. My favorite of the cooktops that we have because you do have gas. You have two-burner gas, and then you have the electric induction as well. Then you have your induction microwave where you can do cinnamon rolls and I'm not, what are these? What is this? Vegetables. No, I'm not, I, no, I don't even know what that is. Meat. You can do meat. Now we're talking meat and cinnamon rolls. And this pasta dish looks scrumptious, but convection microwave works just like your oven. You hit convec, you put in your temp, and you bake in here, and then suddenly you have delicious cinnamon rolls or whatever it is you are making. You can go ahead and put whatever you need in these large pantries. The number of drawers in here, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe it's uh, knives, forks, spoons, and sporks in their own individual drawer. Whatever you want to put into these cabinets, go right ahead. Maybe it's some Camper's Delight. You know what Camper's Delight is, Tom? No Creamed corn. It is. In fact, uh, the song Rapper's Delight was originally Camper's Delight, and it was, uh, you know, dreamy and it's steamy sometimes. It's really creamy. It didn't test well, so they went with Rapper's Delight, and so anyway, you have a pantry. Um, there you go. Lots of pantries, lots of more drawers over here for your sponge, remote controls for the TV. You do have a lot of kitchen storage down here. You have the wastebasket, the other portion of your sink cover. So we'll go ahead if you'd like to put that on and maximize your sink, your counter space. You can put that on there as well. You do have more storage down below. Nice pull out for your pots and pans. You can put that down there uh, as well. You have storage up above. You have your residential refrigerator. And here is what is great about this RS36. Look at the size of this closet. That is wall to wall. You can hang whatever you want in there. Now you may be thinking, well, I, it's a lot of clothes. I don't own that many clothes. I, I'd really rather have bunks. Well, guess what? This is also bunks as well. There's a shelf right back here. And then you can put this down. Uh, the other mattress right now is here. And now you have bunks. So if you have guests or kids and what they're gonna love, the tablet holders. You do have tablet holders right in there, so you can pop the tablet in. There's charging ports of every kind. Uh, and if you are connected to the wine guard, they can sit back here and they can make this their own little getaway. Uh, hello, Patricia. Uh, beautiful, whoever owns it better be glad I'm not related to them. Otherwise, their RV would be gone with me. I understand, Patricia. I love these. I love driving these as well. Um, once you get out on the road, the thing I really like about these is once you get in the cockpit, it's very familiar because it is a Ford and it's uh, we still good, Tom? Oh, yeah. All right. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a Ford. It's a Ford dash. So you have the Ford steering wheel and then it's, it's just like a really big truck. Um, and it, they drive great. That power, that 825 pound feet of torque coming on at 2000, you just, you just, it's, this is going to get you out of the hole. You just put the foot down and away you go. Let's check out our bathroom in here. We have that curved door, that shower, that curved door. You have storage and medicine cabinets, your sink, your porcelain foot flush toilet. So a lot of great, a lot of great options in there. The room and space you need in a bathroom. Hello, George. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate that. And as we move into our bedroom here, king bed. You have a nice king bed in here. Uh, a lot of good things to talk about back here. So let's say you're, you're, you're back here. You know, you're, you're, you're in your bed, uh, you're reading. You need your glasses. Actually, I do. It's, what are we reading about? She may be one of the busiest women in Hollywood, but Jennifer Aniston will always drop whatever she's doing to watch the sunset at the end of each day. It's my favorite moment, she says. Well, Jen, I'll tell you what. If you were in a magnitude RS-36, that would be the favorite moment of your day. You have charging ports over here, nice big nightstands. You have charging ports over there, as well as the Bluetooth coach radio system. It is app enabled. We have a complete video on how to use that, but you can stream your favorite music, uh, a playlist, whatever you want. You can go ahead and do that. Closets back here. Now this is, this is something, when we first came out with the, the Omni Magnitude product uh, at Open House a, a number of years ago, 
you loved it, but you wanted four-wheel drive, so we gave you four-wheel drive. And then you wanted this, and you wanted this, you wanted this. We said, you know what, we're going to do all that. We're going to do all that. You wanted the bigger floor plans with the four-wheel drive, and then you wanted washer dryer. So we got the hookup for you right here. This is for a combo unit. This is all prepped for you. Right now it is a closet and storage for the telescoping ladders for the bunks, which are a really nice addition. They just store right out of the way, and uh, they're all clamped together. But if you'd like to take and use this for washer dryer, combo unit you can you got more closet space over here you have nice large nightstands uh, and dresser tops you can sit down put your shoes on there you can plug some stuff in more pictures of the dogs uh, whatever it is you need to, to do uh, rapid camp plus we've talked about rapid camp plus uh, quite a bit uh, but over here is where you can take and monitor everything that you need to do you can look at uh, you know, your house battery, your chassis battery, we have both of our ACs on right now, turn your water pump on, check your tank levels, auto gen start. Again, I think I mentioned this has an 1800 watt inverter and a 6000 watt uh, diesel generator that runs off your tanks. Um, there's your climate, you turn on your furnace, turn it on auto, control your slides, your awning, you do have a nice awning down here is your settings. Uh, everything you want, you can set your time. It's not 105 in the morning. If so, it's nice and sunny for 105. Uh, network diagnostics, is there a fault? So it's, it's all here. Everything that you need is right there. Uh, gosh. Uh, Clarence, hello to you. Karen, hello to you. Um, lots of folks watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, you know what? I can't... Uh, I don't know, Karen, what the gas mileage is. I haven't taken one long enough to get a, a, a decent amount of uh, data on that. But if we do have a number of Super C owners, so if you Super C owners would be kind enough to just post, hey, what are you getting? I would love to hear what you're getting on the on the fuel. Love to hear what you're getting on the fuel. Uh, you do have nice tall ceilings in here, uh, one touch leveling jack. So everything you need in this RS. 36. It's the latest floor plan. Now, we do have a number of other floor plans uh, that we are going to go over when we're doing the full model of your video. This was the last piece of the puzzle. You got great new exterior colors. So when we look for it, when, you, when we put the model year out, the video, just watch for it. If you haven't hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, go on over there right now and do that to make sure you are staying up to date with all of the videos that are coming out. Uh, our ACE video came out yesterday for those who may be interested in uh, a Class A. Our ACE video is out. If you're interested in B-Vans, our Talaro video is getting ready to come out. And we do. We go over all the floor plans and the decor options. We go a little more in depth than we have in the past. We just want to give you the best experience that you can because we know that there's not a lot of units out on lot. So if we can take and give you the feeling of being there on the lot with no pressure, we want to do that for you. So go ahead to our YouTube channel, like and subscribe. Uh, and if you're on Facebook, go to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go to Facebook. If you're on Twitter, go to Facebook and YouTube. However you're watching this, make sure that you go to our other outlets because we have so many, so much information, customer service videos, how to, some troubleshooting. We have some cooking videos. So anything that you would need help with, we have for you. Our customer, our owner's resource page on ThorMotorCoach.com is a great tool for you. If you are a current owner, all you have to do is sign up for an account, and then you can get all the information about your coach. We do have a complete video on how to sign up and use that as well on ThorMotorCoach.com. I appreciate your waiting around. Uh, I know that we've had some streaming issues here, so we'll kind of keep it short today. But thanks for watching, and we will be sure to see you next time right here, wherever it is on Thor Motor Coach social media.